Hey, what's going on? So welcome to the first video in our tutorials on how you can use Stripe inside of Glide. Now, obviously there are a lot of different use cases that can be covered in Stripe. If you haven't used Stripe before, it's a tool that you can use to process payments. It covers use cases like subscriptions. It allows you to set up a uh, the splitting of transactions, which is obviously very common in marketplaces. And it is just overall a super reliable and uh, valuable tool to have in your stack. But obviously one of the problems that we have with uh, Glide is that there isn't necessarily a native solution available. With that being said, I do know that uh, you can integrate with Stripe if you are on their business plan, but I'm just gonna assume that a majority of you are currently not. So what we're gonna be doing is going through the process of setting up a way for us to sell subscriptions and then to hide and show content in our Glide dashboard depending on uh, their current payment status. Now, before we really get into the weeds of setting it all up, I always like to think about the use case that we're trying to solve and have a little bit of a think about what the different pieces are that are going to basically make this work for us. So let's start straight at the beginning. So we're gonna obviously continue on in Glide, which is what we've been um, using for our Glide or our user portals. Then we have Airtable, which is going to be our central database. And now we're gonna be adding a new tool to the stack, which is Stripe, which will basically take care of our subscriptions. Now, how exactly will this work? So the way I kind of picture it is that a student can log into Glide. They will then be able to uh, purchase a subscription so we can add something like a buy button that purchase will then be processed inside of stripe it will then give that particular customer um, a subscription id a subscription status and what we want to then do is save the status of the current subscription inside of Airtable so that that information then syncs with Glide and then based on what someone's subscription status is at any given time, we can show or hide different elements inside of our Glide portal. Now, the easiest way to think through how these features will actually work when you've got it live set up on your site, I actually recommend starting off by setting up the logic inside of Airtable and inside of Glide first so that you can see how certain elements will affect uh, visibility of certain information. So in our example, what we're gonna be doing is we are going to be adding a subscription to our students. So in our example, a student will be able to sign up to a premium plan. Uh, they'll be able to then pay on a regular basis. And so what we want to do is we want to make sure that we understand uh, what kind of plan a student is on. And so the way that I like to approach it is by simply um, adding a field that we can then use to control um, conditional visibility. And so this might change, but we're just gonna call this field plan and we're gonna then uh, create a plan name, which is going to be free plan. And then we're going to have another plan, which is going to be premium plan. Now, by default, we're always gonna put people on their free plans because obviously they're not going to have a subscription when they sign up initially. But obviously then, when they go ahead and make a purchase, we will set up a workflow that basically takes that purchase inside of Stripe, recognizes it, and then changes our plan field to premium plan. And the cool thing about this is that you can actually add as many plans as you want. So you can add the amazing plan. And so if you wanna have different tiers, you're able to do so as well. Now, obviously, there are gonna be a lot of different use cases that you might wanna explore with subscriptions. I'm gonna focus on the most essential one to get started, but if there are any questions around how you can do things like adding multiple membership plans and all those types of things, then uh, feel free to ask questions and I'll be making follow-up videos on this. Okay, so let's continue thinking through how this will work. So uh, a student will come in, they will hit the buy button. That buy button will then trigger some workflows that will then change their plan status inside of their profile from free plan to premium plan. 
Now, how exactly does this now affect our Glide dashboard? So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to sync our table so that it pulls in the information about a student's plan. And then while we're waiting for this to happen, we're gonna go ahead we're gonna create a section inside of our Glide dashboard, which we are going to call um, premium section. Now you can put inside of your premium section, whatever it is that you want. I'm just gonna call this premium for now. And now what we're gonna do is once the starter has come through, so let's have a look if it's already processed. Uh, we're still waiting, I believe. Always takes a little moment with these things. But while we're waiting, I'll just add a little section in here and I'll just go, this is premium content and then we will just leave it as that for now. Now, hopefully the data has come through. So students, hmm, interesting. Let's have a look if this in here. Oh, actually, <laughs> I realize what's going on. I am actually creating this in the wrong dashboard. So I'm going to quickly return. I'm going to do this in here. So we'll go in here. Students. I'm going to quickly remove this field because we don't need it. Then we're going to add a single select field. And we're going to call this plan. And then we're going to add free plan and premium plan. Okay. So we're gonna set that as the default. We're gonna set them all to free, except for this final one, I'm gonna set to premium because that's gonna be the example that we're gonna cover. So let's go ahead, refresh the data, and we should be able to see the payment status any second. So there we go. So we can see free plan, free plan, premium plan, premium plan. And so what we're gonna do now is we're simply gonna say, okay, we only want students on the premium plan to have access to this. And you can very, very easily do so by simply adding a filter where you say the user profiles plan is premium plan. There we go. And so if we now switch through the different users, you'll see that the content inside of the premium plan is not available. So at the moment, what I'm doing here is I'm actually hiding this specific component. It actually makes more sense to actually hide the entire table. And the way that you can hide the entire table is by clicking on the premium tab. So under the menu section, and then just simply adding it in here. So we're gonna go and set the visibility to say that the user's plan is the premium plan. There we go. And so now when I go through here, we can see, yep, it's in there. Now, if we switch between different users, you can see no premium tab in here. So that basically means that we now have created the functionality for creating visibility. Now, while we're at it, you can add these sections and hide these sections anywhere on your site. So if you want to, for example, um, add a list with, let's call this premium events, and we go and add our programs, just like that, you can say that we only want this to be visible when the user profiles plan is premium plan. There we go. And you can really apply these filters at a very deep level. You can also um, say, you know, if you have multiple plans, you can, you can set custom rules to say, uh, if it's on a free plan, select free. Um, otherwise, if there is any type of um, paid plan that a student has selected, give it a checkbox and then you can set that as the filter. So there, there are really a lot of different use cases that you can explore. But at a high level, if we can set up a workflow that allows us to process a payment inside of Stripe and to then set up a workflow that automatically changes the name of the plan, then we are essentially in a position where we can create different sections on our website that give paying customers access to premium content. 
and that's what we're going to be doing over the next few videos so one thing i'm going to ask you to do straight off the bat is to go ahead and create a stripe account now the process of signing up super straightforward you don't um need to activate anything yet um because we're just going to be using test mode um while you're testing in test mode, you will be able to later on um, change it all over into um, live mode, meaning that any plans and products that you're setting up now can later on be reused. But um, the good thing about test mode is that you'll be able to use uh, fake credit cards, we'll be able to set up all of the different workflows, and it will all be pretty straightforward. So what I'm going to ask you to do is to create the account. As soon as that is done, we'll move on to the next step where we're going to be jumping into Stripe and we're going to be creating our first few subscription products. So I'll see you then.